Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I wanted to highlight an instance where you need to use the suffix to a move statement. For example, let's take this program. Okay, and let's discuss first what's happening here. Okay, first we are pushing one, two, three, four. Okay, so we are pushing 32 bits of one, right? That's the meaning of FFF, 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 FFF. Okay, something is on the stack. We don't care exactly what is there at the moment. And let's assume the stack has some data. We don't care, right? And I'm pushing FF, FF, all those four FFs, four bytes of FFs here, okay? So the stack pointer is going to point here because of the push statement, okay? And now, what are we doing next? We are doing move from ESP to ECX. So ECX is also going to point to the same uh, location, okay? Okay, now let's pay attention to these two statements. There's not much difference, right? Only one difference is, of course, we are using a bracket here and then different register. That's the only difference, okay? So in this case, EDX will be zero, right? But next case is interesting. Because we are putting a bracket here, that means memory reference. So where is ECX pointing to? ECX is pointing to this place where we have all the FFs, right? So in particular, what is the meaning of move zero to ECX with the bracket in the front? We would have thought uh, this will all be canceled out, meaning it will all be replaced by four zeros, four bytes of zeros, right? This is basically four bytes of zeros. In this place where FFs were, it would have been replaced by this because of this statement. Okay, that's what we would have thought, uh, but that's not going to happen. The reason is that it's unclear for, for the move statement, should we treat a zero as a byte or a long number? Because we didn't put uh, any suffix, we didn't put L or B or whatever. Well, we didn't do the same for the previous statement also, but it was clear because EDX handles four bytes. Therefore, um, move zero to EDX will be just EDX equal to zero. But here, ECX itself is just having an address, okay, because we are doing a reference. The question now is, should it replace all the four bytes or just replace only one byte? Okay, that's unclear. That's why it's ambiguous. And, and the compiler actually will not even allow us to compile this code. So I will show you why. Okay, let's do that. Let's compile this code and see what happens. Okay, you see here there's an error message, line number nine. Error, no instruction mnemonic suffix given. So we didn't give mu w, mu l or whatever. Therefore, cannot uh, have size instructions. So, so that, that's basically the problem, okay. So whenever you're referencing a pointer, in your move statement, you need to be specific. Are you dealing with move of a four byte or two byte or a byte? You need to be very precise. Otherwise it won't even compile. Okay, let's do that. Let's uh, change the code, right? And say move B, okay. Because zero fits in a byte. This time it successfully compiles, okay. All we are saying is move a particular byte to the uh, location pointed by ECX, okay? And uh, we will see what happens now. We can compile and link. We compiled, we can link. We can load it to GDB and study the behavior. Okay, let's load it to GDB and study the behavior after the move statement, move B statement. 
Okay, let's run and look at the content of ECX. ECX still points to the same place uh, which uh, contained all the FFs, but then we are replacing only one byte. Okay, you can see only one byte of FFs. FF is replaced by zero, zero because we said move B. Okay, so we need to be precise when we do move. Uh, otherwise, the compiler will get confused, especially in the case where we are pointing to a memory location. Okay, let's do one more analysis, right? Um, what if, if I do W here? That means it will replace the last two bytes. Instead of FFFF, -F -F, you will have zero, zero, zero. Okay, well, four zeros, meaning two bytes of zeros. All right, that's clear. Now we can do one more thing. If we put the L here, right, all of the four bytes will be replaced by zero. Okay, if we don't put anything, the compiler gets confused. So it's not clear whether it should replace zero as a byte or two byte or four bytes. Okay, it has to be either one, two, or four. So B, W, or L. We have not given any of those. Therefore, the move statement is incorrect. Okay, in this case, this is incorrect. This particular move statement is incorrect. This is perfectly fine because EDX register takes four bytes. So it will completely replace this by EDX. Okay, let's try one more thing. <laughs> what if we put move B here to EDX? Okay, in that case, the compiler will give you a, a warning. Okay, you see here, there's a warning at line number eight and there's an error message at line number nine because we reverted our change. Let's put it here. But now we should see only error message at line number eight. Rather warning at error line number eight. Yeah, you should use DL instead of EDX because of the suffix. Okay, the reason is that you put B, right? If you put B, you're only going to replace one byte. Okay, that, that, that's the reason why it's saying uh, you, you can use uh, DL here. DL means the lower part of the EDX register. Okay, that is the reason we are getting the warning. Let us do one more thing. Let's keep this here as EDX, right? What if I first move some large number? Let's say FF, FF, E, 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 E to EDX, right? Compile, we get the warning. Let's ignore the warning for a moment, which is not a good idea, but let's do that. And load it to GDB. Disassemble our start. Put a breakpoint at this instruction. Did you notice one thing? We have a deal here. Okay. That means I would argue this E will be replaced by zero. Okay. Let's try that. First, let we can check what is inside the EDX before that instruction executes. Okay. Now let's step the move instruction. And now let's look at it. Okay, yeah. See here, it's changing. The fun part is that we got a warning, we ignored it, but the compiler actually replaced uh, EDX by DL because we said move B. Okay. The, automatically, this became DL under the hood. Okay, that's pretty much it. So be careful when you are using um, move statement. Well, the compiler will give you warning or error message. But the reason for is that if you have ambiguous statement like this, right? Compiler is not clear whether it should treat zero as a byte or, or two bytes or four bytes. So that's the reason it was giving you warning. And if you make it more precise with the W or L or B, the warning goes away. Okay, that's basically it. Thank you very much for your attention.